anymore. The main thing that's going on is you monitoring the biological response. That means how your body reacts to what's going on as you deepen your ability to live consciously or reinforce your choice to live consciously. Just because you're living a high vibrational life and maybe you've had instantaneous manifestation and maybe your guides are finally talking to you and maybe you've been deeply in the moment, maybe you've disturbed the time stream, maybe you've even had experiences of a teleportation or bilocation or things like that, the body still freaks out. And we warned you about this many, many, many times saying, look, if you can instantaneously manifest money to pay for your groceries, Either you're going to freak out or the person behind you in line is going to freak out, but there's going to be a body freak out to that component. Mm -hmm. This is where your ability to consciously monitor the experiences the body is offering to you is essential. That's the linchpin, the keystone, you name it, that's the part. You have to be ready to monitor Oh, we have a four-legged friend. You have to be ready to monitor the biological reactions, responses, and information through the consciousness. The other day, Veronica felt fear, and we said, tell you what, let's reword that. How about you're having a biolog biological reaction to the idea of change? You see, because that puts the emphasis on the place where you have some, we won't say control, <laughs> where you have some influence. That's the word we were looking for. It puts the emphasis on where you have influence, which is what we've talked about. Okay, no saber-toothed tiger, not necessarily in threat for my life. What am I feeling in threat for, et cetera, et cetera, that we've covered many, many times. So this is the key thing we see across the board for everyone, is the idea that the body is here to give you the opportunity to have the earth experience. Absolutely essential. The body is also dense, the most dense aspect of the journey, so it's the slowest or the hardest to get the changes. And the body's reactions are becoming more and more and more under your conscious uh, influence. And yes, someday you will be able to say, I want my hair to grow long overnight and things like this. But the first step to having that ability is the step that says, I'm habitually having an experience around stimulus and that habituated physical reaction can be modified or modulated by my conscious intervention and I am required to intervene in this in order to grow spiritually at this time. You're required to intervene because the body's reactions are not as high vibrational as your conscious experience of life is. And it's what's keeping you from deepening the conscious experience of the physical form is the habituated, many, many, many lifetimes, DNA-driven biological responses to stimulus that is your opportunity to shift and your responsibility to shift and your challenge to shift as you shift out of homo sapiens into homo spiritus, this is one of the major differences between the two states. One is based on a fear platform, the other is based on a consciousness platform. What's the difference? The difference is an understanding of the influence you have using consciousness over the biological reactions as presented by the body doing its normal job. Just like the body keeps breathing and the heart keeps beating and the blood keeps moving and all that stuff keeps happening, fear gets thrown out, up, in front of you. Other habits, not just fear, but the idea of lack, the idea of safety, the idea of security, abundance, all these issues that you've habituated that are part of the biology. The woman sitting in front of the campfire, you know, the jealousies. All these things that are biological reactions to stimulus that aren't run through consciousness are now coming into your influence as you move out of the homo sapiens mindset into the homo spiritus experience. It becomes part of your responsibility to monitor consciously the biological reactions to stimulus. 
That's the, you know, we've talked about when you spill the orange juice on the floor, you're responsible for how you react as what you emanate. Okay, we're past the orange juice too. Now we're at, you're responsible for the emanations you create as you react to biological stimulus. That includes pain, that includes um, emotional stimulus, that includes memory stimulus, that includes fear stimulus, right? All of these things that are normally hardwired through you become part of your conscious uh, experience. Now, part of what you might say is, oh my God, if I have to think about all that stuff, I'm, in, I'm sunk. I'll never be able to even get out of bed. It's not I have to think about it. It becomes soul's purview. You're taking some of the biological stuff off the mind's desk and putting it on the soul's desk so that it can be processed in a conscious manner. That's the difference. It doesn't become something you have to do or think about or manage or monitor. It becomes something that can heal into a new response cycle. Just like with your core emotions, you healed into a new response cycle around stimulus about your core emotions. And you're learning to heal into a new response cycle around the stimulus that comes out of the physical experiences. That's what's going on right now. That's the main, most important thing that we wanted to make sure we brought up first thing so that you could start to see where we are out of a whole grade now. We've gone into, you know, school started again, right? We had the reboot. So now new lessons. We don't have to talk about a lot of the things we used to talk about anymore. Now we have a new level of application of tools that it is assumed you know, in essence, assumed you're working with in order to move into, you know, you, when you go from eighth grade to ninth grade, they assume you know something about math. Okay. So there's a level of assumption that's going on that says we are basing the next level of instruction on the idea that these certain things are at least familiar to you, if not already active in your lives. Because it's absolutely essential that we get on to managing the biological response to all stimulus so that when you are more deeply experiencing the 2012 energetic that we've brought into now, you're actually working with it at the level at which it's meeting you. It's like having Tiger Woods come to teach you a golf lesson and you don't know the difference between a putter and a driver. Okay? Why are we going to waste Tiger's time teaching you what the clubs are, right, John? We don't play that. No. So you need to come with tools. Part of coming with tools is coming with preparedness to our groups. What we mean by coming with preparedness is coming ready to start where you are and go. Not coming to hear the same thing again put in different words or massaged. It's we're going. Okay? We used to talk about the bus. Now we're in the jet. Okay? We can't slow it down. We can't slow it down in any way. The energetic's moving too fast, we're at the spiritual buffet. If we slow down to talk about the roast beef, we don't ever even get into the salads or the desserts. Don't even think about the bread. Okay? We can't play that game anymore. So it is not to say if you don't understand, you can't ask a question, but it is to say show up with an intention for growth. Period. That's why we come, is to facilitate your spiritual growth and to give Veronica a sense of community, to be honest. But we don't come to play games, and we don't come to screw around, and we don't come to wait. Waiting is over. Okay? The waiting has ended. And this isn't saying that anyone specifically did anything wrong. So if you're having any sort of biological-based reaction around being scolded, look at that. Because this isn't a scolding. This is an announcement that something really fucking cool is going on, and you're all part of it. Okay? That's where we are.